Hello everyone, uh, I am Yaakov Echt. I am Shirley. And in uh, 1987, uh, I was founded... Uh, 34 years ago. The Democratic School in Hadera. And then we built an uh, international conference that I, we call it uh, IDEC, International Democratic Education Conference. And uh, that conference began to go all over the world. And today we have uh, more than 3,000 democratic schools all over the world. Uh, uh, we don't have. Yeah. Uh, they exist. Exist. It's, we don't have them. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, we build a movement that every school is independent but, and we make connection together. Uh, in 2012, I met the first time Ken Robinson and I think from the first meeting, uh, we become a good friend. We, make, we decide to meet together and uh, uh, we met together, Shirley and me and Ken. It was like traditional meeting and in this meeting, most of the time, we tell him what I am doing in uh, different places around the world, and he share with us what he is doing. And it was like a celebration that we wait to this meeting uh, all the time. I think he was a great, great storyteller, but even more so, he was a great listener. It was amazing, his ability to tell stories which are always so smart and interesting and funny, and also to listen so carefully and to ask questions and give us the feeling that this is the most important thing. It was that also it's not was focusing about only the what we are doing, but uh, uh, all the time we, uh, about our families yeah, as well. The, yeah. the families was uh, strong in the our meeting. Yes. Um, okay, I, I would also say that we heard so much much his loss uh, his personal loss for us but we also heard the world's loss wouldn't you say he was one of the most brilliant and original voices uh, in the world of education yeah and i think to the world of democratic education it's it give us opportunity to show what we are doing in different places in the world and it was to us uh, very unique and very important and I, I just want to say that uh, although <clears throat> Sir Ken writes in his book uh, Out of Our Minds that <clears throat> in order to go forward we should not look all the time in the uh, rear view mirror we have a big problem now we, we keep looking back all the time reliving <laughs> our meetings we, we can't help doing this because I would say that meeting talking with Sir Ken was for us like being in our element this yeah. is exactly I mean if I would have to say what is how does it feel being in your element talking to Sir Ken <laughs> that's yeah. I feel all the time when we finish to talk with Ken I feel full with energy that I Elevated. can do I can do everything that I want yes Okay, now to uh, imagine if. Imagine if. So, as I said, we have 3,000 democratic schools in the world. And I thought that imagine, imagine if it will be 3 million democratic schools in the world. In our democratic school, we are not talking about, or we are not teaching democracy. We live in democracy. It's like you cannot teach swimming without uh, swimming on land. on land. So you we, actually have to go in the water. So in this case, we leave democracy at school. And we think that this is very important. It's the missing piece of the big puzzle of democratic country. That a lot of countries adapt education system that was from the past, that prepare people to live in dictatorship. The democratic education say to prepare yourself to the, this world, you need to leave democracy at school. And that's what we are doing. So imagine if all the school in the world will do it, or three million schools in the world will do it. Imagine, I feel it can be 
totally different world in this case. I would just add that imagine if whenever we talk about democracy and how we want to promote democracy and make the whole world democratic, we, it would be very clear to everyone who talks about it that it all starts in education. Yeah. So... I would also like to imagine that Sir Ken hears us now and so to send him our love. Yeah. Thank you. Sir, can I also you will be our friend and love all our life. So thank you. Thank you.